Howdy everybody, and once again, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere at the long range. I don't know what are we going to do with the long range? I'm just uh, going to do some more open fight accuracy test. Man, I don't think I've ever tried to shoot this rifle for a group. Honestly, I shoot at water jugs and yeah, just trying to get close to something. But I'm not sure I've ever put it on paper. Let's take a look at what we're going to use. There you go. This is our, uh, I think it's a Chinese Type 56. It is a Norinco. All there. Put a bunch of matching numbers on there. Boy, when I got it, it was full of cosmoline and I had to clean it all out. And, well, that's a good way to learn about your rifle. Because, man, you get to disassemble the entire thing. And uh, luckily, that's not hard on an SKS. It's a, very similar to the AK. In many, many ways. That man, I'm so happy about this thing right there. Wow, one of you guys sent that to me, and I'll never forget that. Man, that's a, that was the coolest thing ever. Man, sent that in a few rounds of some ammo. Well, here we go. Um, out yonder again. Over. Target at 50 yards. Oh, y'all can hear that. We got a pretty good headwind. So, let's see what that affects. If anything, 50 yards shouldn't be too bad. However, the wind is probably 10 to 15, and it's pretty much head on. So. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. I'm interested in this and really, I guess talking with uh, one of you guys got me interested in wanting to do this. And uh, if you don't know, go look at the Outdoors with Brad channel. Outdoor videos with Brad. Uh, he's got some entertaining stuff. He does a really good job, man. He, uh, just as the title implies, he does a bunch of outdoor stuff. And, uh, yeah, go check him out, man. Great channel, great guy. Go reply to all your questions and comments. It's fun that way, for sure. SKS, 50 yards. And uh, we are going to send 10 rounds down there instead of five. I've just, I filled the magazine up and man, we'll shoot them until it's done.
haven't uh, said anything yet. Man, this thing has got one of the... Man, it's got a bad trigger. That was it. We're done. And we're clear. The bolt held open. We're on safe. So, let me go put this away. And let's see how we did. forgot about the trigger on that thing, man. It's, I don't know if it's that there's something wrong with it. Because I don't think anybody did any, tried to do any modifying on it as I got it. It's full of Cosmoline, so I didn't really think that it had been used. Um, but there's, it's, sti it's not, I don't, I don't know if sticks is the correct terminology. It ain't smooth all the way back, and then if you're applying too much pressure trying to get it out of one of those spots, it's going to go off. So it ain't smooth by any means, but once you get it to the wall, it's not bad. It's just getting it to that wall. And, uh, hey, I wish I could have seen better. It looks like I got two entirely different groups here. at all. It was moving that sled around quite a bit. Y'all have seen me kept trying to adjust for that. Let's look at the damage. And uh, here we are, man. I can't see what y'all are seeing. Oh, sorry about that, but yeah, man. Starts way over here and ends up way down there so man that's six inches <laughs> oh it can't be that bad i'd like to do this again man just to that's horrible i know that thing can do better it ain't a 12 moa rifle we got here four and a half well it's not six Man, just like I said, man, it's kind of fighting that trigger, and, you know, man, I can make all the excuses in the world, but, man, we had a nice bunch of, let's see here, yeah, that's only four there, and then we got these up here, and even still, man, that's still three and a half, that's, yeah, so, 
Well then, maybe I'd like to come out here and try this again on a different day. Because I'm not overly excited about that at all. <clears throat> well, I know the wind wouldn't push me around like that. Not like that. And those sights are kind of weird for me to look through, man. I don't, it's hard for me to see that front sight for some reason. And it's one of those that I can't hold both eyes open. I have to shut one. I cannot. They just, it doesn't work for me with that platform. But it sure is fun to shoot, man. I, I do enjoy it. I'm glad that I have it. Because uh, it's just fun to shoot. And there for a long time, it was cheap. And, uh, man, I, I bought a bunch to go with it, too. I think I got 500 rounds with the gun. Uh, I think I got, like, 200 left now. <laughs> so, I have shot it a lot, man. That's why I don't, I don't know why this group's so bad. Well, like I said, I never have put it on paper that I remember. So, but, man... I know that the SKS is just better than that. It's better than what I've done. And I don't even want to sign my name to this one. But I shot it. And here we go, man. Yeah. We'll have to bring it back out and try again. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that compressor right there. Y'all wouldn't believe how long I've been toting this thing. I've had this compressor for a better of 20 years. It's oilless, electric. It's just, it's just a compressor, man. And it still pumps air. <laughs> it gets me out of a bind a lot. I see guys running around with compressors that, man, they don't even last a year anymore. They got to go buy them a new one. And that thing is just, man, it's just kept on trucking for years and years. Like, I had it for 20. I think the man that had it before me had probably had it for 10. Man, that thing's ancient. Anyway, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Y'all have a great day. We love you. We'll see y'all soon. Bye, y'all.